Father Steve Dublinsky just wanted to meet his neighbors. No furniture in their apartment. I was shocked by the level of poverty amongst the students. Sacred Heart gathers food for the Community Action Center miles from campus. But what about our own neighbors? And that just didn't cut it. If you don't have food, you probably don't have a car. One of his parishioners, Timothy Pollitz, formed a partnership with the CAC and teamed up with the United Church of Christ just a block away. But I thought this would be a great place to do it on uh, College Hill. During the winter time, you know, what kind of food can you put in there? But it turns out that the church has this, uh, like a door on the side of the church where they put packages. That was a great place that we could put um, food inside a heated area. Tim picks up food once a month. The United Church of Christ does the rest. CAC provides the service and we're just extending their reach into the College Hill community. One of the things that I like about this is there's anonymity to it. It's accessible 24-7. No one would speak openly with me who uses the cupboard, but it is being used. Take a walk with me down the street. They have a little library. Now, just yesterday, they took the books out of the library and replaced it with food. Now it's about 11 in the morning, and it's already gone. People don't realize that if you're really short on funds, you know, you'll, you'll try to pay your rent, you'll try to pay the gas, you'll try to pay the bills, but food kind of goes off to the bottom. So we're hoping that this is gonna be a permanent part of our church. Pullman thrives because of WSU and we want to be there to, to help the students. Andrew Bartline. I would have never known if I didn't go knock on their door. Murrow News 8.